This is Scott Ferguson at SUNY Fredonia. I'm going to teach you today how to dissect ovaries from female Drosophila. Um, in this case, we're going to use them for um, immunoblotting. We're looking for a protein in the ovaries. And in order to do that, all we have to do is get them out of the fly and grind them up in lysis buffer. So the first thing you need to do is get your um, microscope and set it to, um, or set a depression slide on it, add a little bit of PBS we put 0.3% triton in it to um, break the surface tension a little bit. And here comes our female Drosophila. Straight off our CO2 pad. You're going to take two tweezers, one of which is um, a little duller than the other. The dull ones you have in your non-dominant hand, you hold um, at the thorax. Your sharper ones you grab at the tip of the abdomen and pull. Out come the intestines and trachea. And malfigment tubes. And then if you give the abdomen a little bit of a squeeze. Now you're not crushing the tweezers completely together. What I'm doing is squeezing more like you would um, toothpaste out of a tube. And you can see the ovaries have started to emerge right here. And you're going to grab them. Once again, without squeezing too tight, you don't want to completely rupture them. And sometimes they'll come out together, sometimes they'll come out one at a time. Right now they're still joined by the oviducts. And voila, we've got a pair of ovaries here. I'm going to zoom up just a little bit and switch to transilluminated light. walk through some of the anatomy of them. We have up here where it's a bit more translucent. I'll get my tweezers in view here. Here where it's a little translucent. This is the early stages of oogenesis where um, vitelogenesis, that is the production of yolk, has not yet occurred. And so they're fairly transparent. And then as you move posterior towards the more mature egg chambers back here, you can see it becomes a little more opaque can actually make out individual um, oocytes. So if you can see my little crosshatch working right here, this is an individual oocyte within a larger egg chamber within an ovarial. And so that's how you dissect these ovaries. If you're going to um, use them for immunohistochemistry, what you'll need to do is use a needle and tease apart the individual ovarioles. Um, but for this case, we're not going to do that. We're just going to throw them into sample buffer, boil them, and run them on a SDS page gel.